Hi everybody, this video is part 2 for the kill team slash walk cry board. In this video I'm going to show you how I did my paint job and how I applied ground cover and foliage. If you like what you're seeing, please like, subscribe, you know what to do. My name is Gert and welcome to the workshop. As a primer for this board, I decided to use black gesso. This is quite thick. I just spray it on, mix in with a little water, just all on the board and paint the entire thing black. For the temple pieces, I used normal Vallejo black primer. First base coat is burnt umber over the entire board. Time to whip out the airbrush. I lay down several colors. I start with a hemp sandy brown, which has these lovely red undertones. And then I finish off with a bunch of sand on the stony patterns that are formed in the modeling compound. After these brown base coats, it's time for a bunch of washes. I make washes from black, red ink and dark green. I mix it up with my wash mix recipe over here and as is usually the case for terrain painting in my case anyway i don't bother counting drops or anything i just go with my feeling it's time to start laying down the first wash a green all on the side i mop up most of the pools with a bit of paper towel and then it's time to take out the other washes. I went a little bit painterly. I was inspired by some of the mixed media paintings that some of these people do now. All the next steps that you are going to see are going to be fairly hidden in the finished product, but still it was a nice experiment to see what is possible and to have a little bit of practice. Very simple what I did, just use the washes smear it on on the lines that were formed in the modeling compound do this for both sides let it drip down and then i reused the washes to blend in all these lines that were formed using green red and black washes I think that using techniques from the people who make these kinds of paintings are very valuable and I think I can see a lot of room for experimentation. So please expect more of this kind of stuff in the future. In fact, I already have an idea where I will be using acrylic pouring to make alien types of terrain. But as I said, more of that soon-ish. First I have a whole bunch of scenery planned, ladies and gents. I telling you it's gonna be freaking awesome we are done with painting for a while it's time to lay down a bunch of foliage and ground cover first thing I'm going to use for the foliage are the Lux APS base readies I already did a review for this product go check it out in the description below and the second layer I made a mixture of this dried moss with a little bit of f uh, light green foliage by Woodland Scenics mixed in. And then finally, the fine turf by Woodland Scenics. Soil, quite dark, has a dark greenish undertone. And then this fine earth, which has this yellowish beige color. And I'm going to fix this all with my Scenic glue. And of course the isopropanol and water mixture to make everything a little bit more smooth. You just sprinkle the base ready all over the board. First up I use the polystyrene shape as a guide and then I follow the striped pattern in the paint job for the center. Now 
I then sprinkle on the greenery that I showed you earlier and then it's time for the ISO slash water spray to make sure that the glue goes evenly across the board and then I cover everything up in a layer of glue mixture. Now you can see there's a, a reaction between the red paint and the glue so I decided to ro roll with it and to emphasize this effect by adding drops of red ink all over the center of the model. Just splash it on from a height and then I used an airbrush and I spread open the drops with just airflow. I'm going to repeat the glue process several times so in between it's important to always clean the temple so there is no glue residue left. Then I take out the washes again, mainly the green one, to start blending the foliage and the ground cover that I added to the rest of the board. And this is the result, quite sparingly looking as you can see. So it's time to add several more layers of foliage. First, I'm going to paint the surrounding area of the temple in a black color to simulate the depth later on and it's called the black temple so i ain't gonna paint it pink now time for a new layer of the lux eps base ready this time i'm going to apply it more sparingly and more into different spots which we which we are going to blend later on again all over the board where i find it necessary Let's add a couple of more colors. For this I'm going to use the Fine Turf by Woodland Scenics. I use the earth and the soil colors. Just sprinkle it on all over the board until you are happy with the results. Time for another layer of glue, same principle as before. I start with a a spray of isopropanol and water mixture and then I spray on the scenic glue this time I use a spray bottle again it's important to clean away the residue from the temple itself after drying time I lay down some highlights over the stony texture that I made in the modeling compound for this I use stone gray mixed in with a little bit of ivory then for the temple, this was painted black entirely and then when dry, I apply a layer of gloss varnish. And then it's time for the last step for this project, applying the water effects. I bought a small quantity online, I don't need a whole liter of the stuff, this one is done in a two one ratio so two parts of resin and one part of hardener mix it in a cup for a couple of minutes very gently and then it's time to pour in the mixture gently pour it in place and then i use a spatula to spread out the resin all over the holes in the board And then I decided I don't only want water effects at the center of the board but also on the sides to give a little bit of the effect of uh, puddles of water. So we have puddles of water on the side of the board and we have deep water at the center where the temple is submerged. Regarding the wooden sides of the board, just simply black paint and then the rest of the wood was colored by red ink a couple of layers so we have a nice contrast now at exactly this point i realized that one of the puddles is empty uh oh 
And at this point, I make it worse. Look at that resin go. Whee! Yeah. Quite an easy fix though. As you can see, the, the surrounding area of the, uh, of the temple is already glossy. Because of all the ink that I have added. So I just scrape the resin back into the hole. I fix the small hole at the front where the resin ran through. Poured a little bit extra in it. And that was it for this project, ladies and gentlemen. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, please like, subscribe, you know what to do. Help me grow this channel so I can continue making kick-ass stuff for the Wargaming table. Please go check out my social media if you want to keep up with the Dark Matter Workshop world. And I will see you soon for a new project here on Dark Matter Workshop. Till then, take care. Bye.